today I'm working on a 1998 Chevy truck with a 5 liter V8 Vortec. I have a couple history codes of a P0172 and a 174 system rich, bank 1 and 2. It's intermittent. Every once in a while it starts up and it stumbles or light will come on after a long drive. Um, unfortunately someone cleared the codes but I'm looking at my fuel trims right now and you can see on the short term and long term on one I'm at negative already which indicates slightly rich and the same thing with bank two the only one you're not seeing is the long term maybe if I scroll down you can see it's also at minus 7. I did see this as high as minus 18, but it appears to be intermittent. Uh, the first thing, you know, simple checks are fuel pressure, clogged air filter, stuff like that. I have about 53, 54, which is about normal for these. Maybe a teeny bit low. But, like I said, it's intermittent, so I know I've seen some bulletins on fuel pressure regulators, so I'm going to try to watch and see if my fuel pressure drops off when I shut the car off and see how long it takes. And we'll see where that takes us. Okay, I do have the engine shut off. Still sitting at the same pressure it's not dropping fast we'll check back in a couple minutes because I am suspecting something up in the fuel pressure regulator in the injector area I have the return line pinched off with a pair of ice grips so if the pressure does drop I know it's not just going back through the fuel pump check valve. After about 10 minutes I'm already down below 30 so I do have a leak somewhere so I am now going to pull off the upper intake plenum and see where the leak is. Okay we got the upper intake off so you can see the ejector housing with the regulator all kind of stays in there when the upper intake plenum comes off. Kind of see the hole where it goes. And you can see some evidence. You can see it's pretty sooty inside, kind of normal on these, but in the back in here it's nice and clean I don't know if that's going to show up but there's definitely evidence of raw fuel even down in here or it's sooty there clean right there all around this injector unit so now I'm going to look for the source There's a better shot of the cleaner looking intake runners in the back here as opposed to the ones up front that are pretty sooty. I also pulled the injectors out and I looked at each individual one to see if they were dripping fuel too. So nothing yet. Okay, what I did is I hooked the fuel line back up and turned the key on to pressurize the system. See if I could see where the gas is coming from. This is the regulator over here. I don't know if you can really see it, but see my finger is wet. So I'm pretty sure just my O-ring's leaking. But kind of what I wanted to see anyway so I'm gonna replace it 
ended up pulling it out because I already had the injectors out. So figured show a picture of it. This is why people call it a spider injector. Kind of looks like one. Actually, it's eight injectors, eight circuits, and the pop pop it valves open up around 50 psi. The regulators right here. Pull this snap ring or this clip off. Just an O-ring seal. Kind of kind of came apart. It kind of came apart in pieces. See, there's a O-ring and a screen. If you look in there, there's a whole lot of soot. Probably with the hot and the cold expansion and contraction, this stuff got near the O-ring and the O-rings probably starting to wear out in certain conditions it would leak fuel. The other issue I could have had, like I said it was an intermittent problem, that all the soot that was packed around this screen inside the injector unit could have been restricting my return flow, raising the pressure. I never saw it. Like I said, it happened intermittently, but that's also a possibility for this system-rich code. There's a new one, a new screen, two O-rings, a little bit of oil around them to ease an installation. It just goes right in there. Put the clip back in, you're in business. There it is, sitting back down in its fixture. A new regulator in, new O-ring, ready to go back together. After starting the truck and getting it up to operating temperature, you can now see my fuel trims. They're all essentially near zero, maybe three percent on the long term, zero short term. So I think I can call this one fixed. Thanks.